Well, hey guys, good morning. Um, so the Lord gave me a message last night, but I was too tired to um, <laughs> post it because it was late. Started getting the message at like, I don't know, 10 o'clock. <laughs> I was like, I can't post this right now. So anyway, I claim that Jesus Christ came to earth in the flesh as a man, died for us on the cross, and he rose on the third day three days later. Um, also ignore the telegram and the, um, WhatsApp people because they are, uh, scamming people for a fake orphanage. You can always tell when they say, write me. I never say that. So it's on the YouTube thing. Okay. March 23rd, 1 Peter 2, 11. Beloved, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul. Ephesians 3, 7, of which I became a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given to me by the effective working of his power. Luke 3, 9, and even now the ax is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Okay, and here's the message. My child, don't worry. There are reasons I say things to you. There are reasons I give you these signs. I love you, my children. I'm trying to wake you up. Remember I said, Purim, it hasn't passed yet. My calendars, my original dates have been changed. They have changed everything. The comet, it's green. I don't know what he means by that, guys, but maybe another comet's coming. I'm not sure. Look up. Redemption draws nigh. The sun, the moon, the stars, they are in Virgo, Aquarius, Leo. Signs in the heavens. Jesus saves. If you're listening to this, please help me out with this because I don't understand astronomy. Um, <clears throat> constellation has been turned upside down. Don't understand that either. So help me out. Jesus saves. Um, it has been changed. The light and the sky are my angels. Trumpets sounding all lined up, ready to blow. Oh, my children, why do you deny me? Why can't you see the love I have for you? I'm trying to save you. Horror is coming. The great tribulation is coming. Tribulation has started for my Christians. Trials and persecu persecutions are going to increase. Okay, so he, so um, I think it was uh, Jake. So he confirmed it, Jake, um, uh, that it's, that the tribulation is not the same as the great tribulation. So good job on catching that. Um, it's not happening everywhere, but it will come. Love is patient, love is kind, love does not boast, does not keep an account of right and wrongs. Love one another, love your neighbor, forgive one another. How can you love me but don't love your brother who you have seen? I have left you signs in my words, are you heeding them? Then he gave me First Thessalonians 4, 5. Not in passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God. First Thessalonians 1, 8. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place. Your faith toward God has gone out so that we do not need to say anything. <clears throat> okay, um, James 3.11. Does a spring send forth fresh water and bitter from the same opening? Philippians 3.5. Circumcise the eighth day of the stock of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews concerning the law of Pharisee. Here's another message. My child, darkness is here. Spiritual warfare is here. Solar storms, electrical storms coming. Blackouts, EMP coming. I have warned and warned and warned. Time to perform my word. So many of you are still listening to Lucifer's lies. He whispers in your ear and causes confusion and disruption. He is the father of lies and he is using you to deter new believers from believing in me. Woe to the person who makes another child stumble and leads them to deception. It would have been better for them not to have been born. Signs after signs after signs. How many have to come true before you believe? Oh, you little faith. <clears throat> you have been lied to. Oh, you little faith. You let darkness creep in. I told you if you came to me, I would give you rest. I told you if you believed in me, I would save you. Give me your heart, child. I am the only one who can save you. Soon you will see my word is true. Everything I say means something. I am deliberate and forthcoming, and my words have a deeper meaning you won't understand. Wisdom is from the Holy Spirit. Are you guided by the Holy Spirit? Seek me. Seek my words, my true words, and I will give you understanding. Pray to me. Worship me. 
Witchcraft is increasing. Lucifer is behind it. He's calling all witches to stir up dark magic and try to stop the believers. Spiritual warfare is heightening such mockery and it is an abomination to their soul. They are so deceived and their hearts are hardened. I will destroy all witchcraft and all sorcery. Look at the people scoffing. Do their fruits match their words? Don't let them deceive you. They are idol worshiping and they are led by a demonic presence. My children have the light in them and they are led by the Holy Spirit. They love me. They pray to me. They know I will save them from the hour of trial I have coming on this whole world. My sword is coming for the ones who don't believe and put their faith and trust in me. Woe to the mother who is pregnant or nursing in the times ahead. Would a mother leave her child? The child got caught up as the woman flees to the wilderness. The dragon will devour the rest of them. Who are the rest of them? Have you asked me for the meaning behind my words? Have my words been changed? Not all meets the eye. Ask the Holy Spirit for truth. I love you, my children, but my door is closing. And once it shuts, you will have to die for my glory. Okay, and then he gave me Jeremiah 5, 9. Shall I not punish them for these things, says the Lord? And shall I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? Colossians 4, 8. Sin. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Then he gave me a message. Sin, sin. Confess them to me and I will forgive you. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. I am Lord. You will hear my trumpet soon. I am your Messiah and I have spoken. Colossians 4 8. I am sending him to you for this very purpose that he may know your circumstances and comfort your hearts. Amos 3 12. Thus says the Lord, as a shepherd takes from the mouth of a lion two legs or a piece of an ear, so shall the children of Israel be taken out who dwell in Samaria in the corner of a bed and on the edge of a couch. Joshua 1 9. <clears throat> Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Courage. My Jesus clock just went off. He's so awesome. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Of courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. <clears throat> then he gave me uh, Philippians 3 7. But what things were gained to me, these I have counted loss for Christ. Zechariah 6 5 and the angel answered and said to me these are four spirits of heaven who go out from their station before the Lord of all the earth John 9 8 therefore the neighbors and those who previously had seen that he was blind said it's not this he who sat and begged first Thessalonians 3 9 for what things can we render to God for you for the joy which we rejoice for your sake before our God First Peter 2 5 you also as living stones are being built up a spiritual house a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ here's another message Hiroshima do you know why I speak this China Russia North Korea have made a deal they are all on the same team they will bring down the United States checkmate game set match it's coming when the nukes come, you will see me in the clouds. Ezekiel 35, 3. And, and say to it, thus says the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against you. I will stretch out my hand against you and make you most desolate. Matthew 17, 5. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and suddenly a voice came out of the clouds saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. <clears throat> um... Malachi 3 5 and I will come near you for judgment I will be a swift witness against sorcerers against adulterers against perjurers against those who exploit wage earners and widows and orphans and against those who turn away an alien because they do not fear me says the Lord of hosts I didn't know alien was in there that's pretty cool Exodus 14 3 for Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel they are bewildered by the land the wilderness has closed them in Jeremiah 7, 9, will you still murder, commit adultery, swear falsely, burn incense to Baal, and walk after other gods whom you do not know? 1 John 2, 4, he who says, I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. 1 John 2, 8, again, a new commandment I write to you, which thing is true in him and you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. 3 John 1, 5, beloved, you do faithfully whatever you do for the brethren and for strangers. Colossians 1 4 since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and your love for all the saints and then John three fourteen. and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness he even so the must even so must the son of man be lifted up 
Okay, guys, that was it. If you don't know Jesus, believe in him. Ask him to come into your life. Confess your sins and give him your heart. He will believe you. Okay, time's running out. Gotta go.